I think I already did this in my video, but I'll also make another one. Okay, to do this problem, again, there's two different ways we can do this. The first way is just to transfer it to exponential form. Right? You have a logarithm, transfer to exponential form. E to the negative first equals x. Then you can evaluate this as x equals 1 over e. So take 1 divided by e, and that equals x. The other way we could do this is um, I notice that this has a base e, right? That has a base e. So I can get rid of this logarithm. Our whole goal in solving, guys, um, remember when you're solving for x, your whole goal is to get x equals, right? Well, when we're solving with logarithms, our kind of goal is not really to have a logarithm unless we have to, right? Because logarithm pretty much tells us we're going to have an approximate answer. So always try to get rid of logarithms. We don't really want to be dealing with them if you can avoid it. So here, I can get rid of this logarithm. If I raise, if I raise um, e to the ln of e, it's going to equal 1, right? So what I'm doing is I'm going to raise this whole equation, ln of x equals e to the negative first. All right? Do I need to go back over that 1 and 1 property again? You guys can raise or e be raised on both those sides. So then, what happens is this now cancels out, x equals e to the negative first. 